To replace the needle bar and presser foot, you will need to remove the tension base. Next, remove the top cover. Then, remove the face plate. Once the face plate is removed, move the needle bar to be changed by performing a manual color change on the controller. Then, remove the needle clamp screw, which will allow you to remove the needle clamp and the needle. Loosen the upper dead point stopper. Then, loosen the needle bar connecting stud. Finally, hold the upper dead point stopper and pull the needle bar out from the top. Now you're ready to install the new needle bar. Start by installing the needle bar holding screw. Slide the needle bar holding spring, tapered end up, onto the needle bar, and then slide the needle bar into the needle case. Be sure to push it through the washer that the spring rests on. Slide the upper dead point stopper onto the needle bar, followed by the needle bar connecting stud. Install the presser foot spring on the bottom of the needle bar. Slide the O-ring onto the needle bar with the concave side up, and then install the needle clamp. Make sure the screw on the needle clamp is angled slightly to the right. Tighten the screw just enough to hold the clamp in place, but don't tighten it all the way. Then install the needle. Insert the needle into the needle bar with the scarf or undercut part of the needle to the back and the eye facing forward. Make sure the needle is seated all the way up into the needle bar and tighten the needle bar clamp. After changing the needle bar, make sure to set the upper and lower dead points. 